Okay, wow. If I would have known this was going to happen, I could have done a full-blown show. Oh, my God. My worst fears have come true. Uh, I've been scared of this, uh, you know, whole heat advisory, heat detective heat warning thing. Because I was either scared of my own death because of the heat or somebody else. And, unfortunately, my worst fears about summer and the heat wave, or aka the season of summer and the heat wave, or such a heat warning, came true. Uh, not, not for me. I still get heat, uh, heat stroke, but probably more like the mild kind. But uh, I'll read you the story. This is coming out. The, the first heat, I guess it's the first heat related death, uh, hopefully this year and hopefully not as in, in years. And now I got to wait for the story to pop up all over again. Come on. Uh, but this is coming from ABC, uh, ABC, uh, uh, probably the one of the ABCs uh, in, in uh, 13 in, uh, in Harris County. So it says, uh, woman, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to leave the link and put in the marquee too, but it says, uh, woman to raise awareness on heat related deaths after 67 year old brother died in, uh, Harris County. And it just came in minutes ago, right after I did the commercial, well, hours ago, right after the commercial, then begging, uh, for help because of something like this. Uh I knew this was, oh my god, I was scared of this. Like I said, I was scared to do that either, either of my death or somebody else didn't happen to somebody else. Oh my god. God, no. Please, God, no. God, no. Uh, Victor Ramon's death became the first. I'll pick the, uh, I'll pick, yeah, and it was this year. But, uh, Victor Ramon's death became the first heat-related death in Harris County this year, and his sister is urging for those to help family during hot days. Uh, Harris County, uh, Texas, KTRK, the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office has confirmed the area's first heat-related death. The family of 67-year-old Victor Ramos said they never imagined he would be a victim of the heat and want to raise awareness of the dangers. And Carla Ramos told ABC 13 reporter uh, Lena Lena, I hope uh, I apologize if I mispronounce the name. Lena Pearson, her brother, grew up in California and spent his life working in hot warehouses, so should never imagine his her brother would die from the heat inside his own home. Uh, okay. Uh, the first day, uh, the, that day before Carla Ramon uh, called 911 for her brother, she uh, she said he had made made a few complaints. Uh, he told he told me that Friday that the twenty third, I'm not feeling good. I'm feeling kind of tired. Car, uh, Carla's dead. Uh, she encouraged him to take a cold shower and lie down. Uh, I went back at uh, at nine on Saturday morning, and he was gone. I found him on a bench, uh, uh, a bunch with a bunch of saliva on the side. So I knew something was wrong. Carla said. On June twenty fourth, Carla called nine one one, and Victor was taken to the hospital, but pronounced dead. The uh, the Harris County. Medic, uh, Harris County Medical Exam uh, confident, confirmed it was the first repeat. It was the first he related death 
in a county. And Harris County is the one where Houston is and where Big D country is at right now. When I found him Saturday morning, I, uh, I was, uh, it was mind-blowing because I never expected him nor to have survived, nor to have survived this, Carla said. The medical examiner's office said Victor was in a house without air conditioning, he, uh, his sister said. They knew that the AC was out and had been working on it in the days leading up to his death. Uh, Carla said uh, she recently lost a sister and her mother and said this blows as weight to her, her shoulders as she also care, uh, also cared for her sick father. But she wants people to know uh, to know a heat-related death can happen to anyone. Let me repeat that. I, this is what I was exactly saying for the past few weeks. This was what I was saying for the past few weeks, and it proved it right there. This proved it. Carla said it. This proved it. But she wants people to know a heat-related death can happen to anyone. Anyone. You heard that, Big D Country Citizen? Anyone. She wants people to know a heat-related death can happen to anyone. Anyone. If you have family... Help them out. I repeat, she said, if you have family, help them out. If you can't help them fix the AC, get some fans. $40 isn't going to make your you go broke, Carla said. I know we have a ceiling fan, but even with the air conditioner here in the house that we can't, uh, can't control, it's usually freezing, so I would either die of the heat or die of frozen hypothermia, like in Jack out of Titanic. On Friday in Richmond, law enforcement confirmed that a six-year-old boy died after being found unresponsive inside a family vehicle after his family noticed he was missing. Officials told ABC that the vehicle was off and hot when the child was found. Let me read that part again. What Carla said. Let me find that find that part again. And this is what I've been saying for the past few weeks. I'm gonna say this again. But she, meaning Carla, Wants people to know a heat-related death can happen to anyone. And I'll say it again. A heat-related death can happen to anyone.